Today I wanted to demonstrate an advanced topic, passing data from a parent to a child list after you've already connected those two lists using InfoWise associated items. So what I have set up here is a SharePoint site for our imaginary child daycare service. And I've got two lists, parents and child. And what we're doing here is we have a parent name, parent age, parent phone number, and then child is our InfoWise associated item. And if I click here, you can see that we're actually passing down name, age, and phone number down to each child. And that's what I'm going to show you how to set up. The first thing we need to do is go into the child list and add fields for each one of the parent fields that are going to be passed down by default. So we need to go in for this one and add in parent age. So what I'm going to do is go into list, list settings, and then you can see I've already created the fields in the child list that are going to hold the parent list data. So you could go in here and create the column to parent age, single line of text, and then that sets it up so when the InfoY sets the default, it has the field in the child list to put that data into. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll get the names next. So what we need to do to pass the parent age from the parent list down to the child list is we need to get the InfoWise field name and set the default based on that name. So there's two steps to this. We need to get the SharePoint version of the name and then we need to add on the InfoWise prefix to that name. So we're going to go into list in parent, list settings, and we're going to go down to parent age and the SharePoint name of this field is going to be right up here in the URL. It's parent age. Now what we need to do is take that parent age and we need to put it in a notepad. So we're going to put it right here. And then we need to add the prefix for InfoWise field value. So IWFV underscore InfoWise field value. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it real quick just to put it in my clipboard. So I need to go now to child because child is where we're going to set the default. So go to child list design and then down here to default values and dynamic rules. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose parent age default value. I'm going to check the parameter box and then I'm going to put that field name right in there. And I'm going to click the Add button. And you can see I've already got it right here. So what I'm going to do is just click Edit here just to prove it to you. So I hit Save on that, and that's what you get. So that's how you can set up defaults between two lists that are set up using InfoWise associated items. If you'd like to know more, check out our website at InfoWiseSolutions.com. I'll put links in the description down at the bottom to our training videos, to the website, and other information that you might need. Click subscribe and click like down at the bottom if you like this and you'll see more. Thank you very much.